What is up fam and welcome back to another adventure. Tonight we decided to change things up a little bit and we decided to do a part two investigation of our house. Here lately activity has been picking up a lot. Uh, we've been seeing shadow figures. We've been seeing the lady in white in more places than just the kitchen and the bedroom. Uh, over this past weekend something grabbed my mom in a bedroom on the back side of the house. Uh, we've been hearing knockings in our bedroom. We've had things moved. Uh, what else we had going on? I'm constantly seeing stuff move in the um, bathroom. Yeah, Amanda's constantly seeing things move in the bathroom, seeing shadow figures in the bathroom. So we've decided to, like I said, do a part two investigation here in the house. Now I do have minimum lights on right now. Some of the equipment that I have set up tonight, which I will be using here in a little bit, if the cats would move, is my rim pod that they've already knocked over. I have puck light set up here. I have my K2 set up here. And I have a puck light set up here inside Amanda. We've also added some more haunted stuff to our collection. This is our new doll that we've picked up here recently. All right. All right, we are going to go lights out. Now the only external lights I have other than my puck lights is I do have a light in my hallway over here. This is my laundry room that we keep on for the kids. And the bathroom light to shine some light in the uh, hallway area for Lindsay but other than that the only sources I have is this puck light that's in white and that puck light that's in white alright spirits y'all been wanting us to do this again for a while y'all know who I am y'all know what we do Okay, then we're going to try this again. This is night two. Uh, Casey woke up last night, didn't go back to sleep until almost <coughs> 2 o'clock this morning. We decided to uh, just hold off till tonight. But we have the same equipment set up, 
plus the ghost meter set up now. I forgot about it. But the equipment we still have set up is we still have our two puck lights. Puck light, our K2, and our puck light by Amanda. And then down our hallway, I have the ghost meter set up right here. Now, I did a preliminary sweep already with the EMF meter. And it stayed remotely about the same. But we're going to do another sweep. Right now it's reading 19 volts with no milligauss. And you would think it would go up as I'm coming to these areas. Especially since this is some of the areas where we have the most activity. is how on Lindsay's door which, where we have a lot of activity I was really getting some really high readings here a minute ago 95 0.3 milligauss I suspect that there is a portal at Lindsay's or Lily's door it just spiked to a 95 Okay, let's go to lights out. Is there anything here that wishes to communicate with us? Come talk directly to my camera. At any time, you can touch the K2. Hello? If that's you, come in here and communicate with me, please. Yeah, there was just a knock down the hallway. And every hair in my body starting to stand up. I don't know how we all can see this or not. But every hair in my arms are standing up. If that was you, can you knock on something again, please? Alright spirits, at any time, change the color of the lights on the puck lights, touch that K2 meter, let us know that you're here with us, let, my, let the fans at home know that you're here. Can you knock on something like this again? Just sound like a knock in the kitchen. Once again, I'll not be going into any of the bedrooms due to privacy of the family. Can you come tell me your name, please? That flag looks creepy in white light. Or the uh, night vision. Can you come touch my K2 meter? My K2 meter is set up right here on the table. Matter of fact, Let's go ahead and get the rim pod set up.
I also have my REM pod set up. Let the cats to leave it alone. Cats are very curious about this device. Can you come touch my REM pod? Make the REM pod go off? What about my ghost mirror at the end of the hallway? Can you set my ghost meter off? Oh, it's a cat setting it off. Back up. I'm going to sit down right here. Don't be afraid to come communicate with us. Did you hit that chain? No, I didn't. The chains are freaking moving. You know, we'll never walk by those chains. Always go around them. I wonder if it's that knocking noise I was just hearing. <clears throat> Tell me, why are you here at this house? Did you come here through one of the haunted objects I have? Or have you been here since before? We've had activity in this house since before we brought the haunted objects in. And speaking of the haunted objects, as y'all, as I showed y'all last night, that's our new haunted doll. That also picked these up from the location. These two bricks came from a haunted jail that we did. Can you knock on that again, please? I thought it was going off. At that time, I did bump them. Make a noise when I know where you're at. Cat, leave it alone. Yeah, that wasn't the cat. Okay, it was me. I got too close to it. We usually don't go off whenever I'm that close to it. Come here and sit down with us. Talk to us. Go ahead and get the cats and put the cats up. At least snip and uh Milo. You can turn the light on if you need to. Oh, 
Can you let that K2 all, or the rim pot all the way up, please? Don't be scared of it. All I do is make noise and light up. I know I don't really use it in the house that much. And it's something new. But as y'all can see, there is nothing around that. There's some end over there in the hallway. Now, don't be scared of any of this equipment that I have set up. It's just a way for me to communicate with you. What about my K2? Can you go touch my K2? Light it up for me? I'm actually going to do a sweep of the K2. door I was getting high EMF readings. Don't be scared to come touch my K2 meter while I walk around. All this K2 does let me know that you're here with me. Now is the time for you to make as much noise as you want. I'm giving you permission right now to make as much noise as you want while I'm filming. Tattoo's going nuts right here. Oh, and it's right here by the haunted objects. Are you part of the, the, the collection that we have that we brought into this house? And don't be scared to light this up again like you just was. Light it all the way up to the orange light again. There you go. You're just warming up to us, huh? But you should be warmed up to us because hmm, you live with us. Do you like it here? Light it up to orange if you like living here with us. Do you want us to continue to communicate with you tonight? Light up the orange if you want us to continue to communicate with you. Yes, it does. I'm going to put the K2 right there for you. Look at this, y'all. There's nothing powered on over here for it to be doing this.
Wow, that's going freaking nuts right here. Alright, tell you what, we're going to move this over to here by Amanda. I'm going to set it right there. If you can light it up over, over here, you can light it up right there. I'm gonna check the uh I'm gonna check the readings right here. It got up to sixty. So it's seventy by the 72, 73, 75. Wow. Milligals was just at 1.0. It's right there by the haunted stuff. Mm -hmm. That's me setting it off, y'all. Sorry. It's just showing a point nine on the Native American doll. Now y'all don't be afraid to to touch this stuff now. So what, again? Yeah, I think Lindsay's fan just fell. That's still a, a that's still a natural occurrence. Well, not a natural occurrence, but an everyday occurrence at our house is whatever's here really likes to um, really likes to push Lindsay's fan over. It'll knock it over six, seven times a day, and it seems like the later at night it gets, the more it gets knocked over. Knock on something like this. Let us know where you are. I'm just sitting here looking at the uh, EMF meter, and it was just at a 1.0, sitting right beside me. If that's you sitting right beside me, can you come like this back up to 1.0? Can it's got up to a 0.6. Like that up to a 1.0 if you're sitting over here by me. On a point one, one point oh, like you just had it. That meter's jumping all over the place. AC just kicked on. Let's grab the wrong phone. All right, we're going to use the Ghost Tube SLS. Make sure it's working. Yep, I'm just mapped the man out. Let's see if we can pick up something. I'm gonna walk around. Just it's mapping. I don't know if you can see this or not. I don't know if it's 
Well, I was actually mapping a couple things on the table. Don't forget to look up sometimes when you don't do this fan because you never know what might be on the ceiling. Oh, that's what the flag looks like. It's all black. mapping over there by the pictures Trying to make sure there are false readings on this. Yeah, it's definitely mapping something over there. I don't know if y'all are seeing that or not. Last time I used the SLS camera in here, we caught that that lady, the lady in white, remember? And it just picked something up right there by the trash can again. Lady in white, are you still here with us? If you're still here, can you come stand in front of my camera? The spirits has been in here making all kind of noise for the last couple of weeks. Come touch my REM pod, let me know that you're here with me. What you running over there, the ghost tube? pick up with some of this stuff. Amanda looks freaky. Let's see if we can change the color of this.
So we have caught things moving with this particular app. Amanda's running the uh, ghost. ghost hunter tools, and it just said gate. Thing is, as what makes it coincidental, is I was just standing right there by the gate. And I was getting my EMF readings on my K2. We also have another gate that Amanda was stepping on in the hallway right there. Now, I've seen you do it before. Can you change the color of one of my puck lots? I got two puck lots set up. Can you change the color to red, green, or blue? Let it, let me know that you're here. and run to the portal. What is your name? The last time Why are you here? Can you come show yourself, Tim? Who's the little kids that I keep hearing in the house? Now I feel you watching me. Don't be scared to come communicate with me. What's it? Yes, I feel your presence. Why don't you come over here and push me off this couch? Push me, pull me, scratch me, slap me, kick me. I'm giving you the chance now to make as much noise as you want. Once I go to bed, you're going to be quiet. I think you just said that, it can't, that I can't hurt them. Look, there's enough power. There's enough power in this house right now for you to do anything you want to do. We have the puck light set up that's turned on right now, the REM pod that's set up right now, the K2 that's set up right now, the ghost meter set up right now. Got my phone. Got the camera itself. Not including the electricity that's running through the house right now. So do something. Make some kind of noise. Let me know where you are.
move something, throw something. And it just got really freaking hot in here. opportunity to let your presence be known. I just heard that. Come from the hole. I hope my camera picked that up. I just heard I just heard talking right here. Is that you down here? see this every hair is standing up this is in the hallway you want me and my family to leave If he wants to leave, lock that ghost meter up that's at the end of the hallway. You sound like something from the other end of the house now. Did you hear that? female over here in this section and this we know is where the lady in white hangs out at seeing a weird reflection on the TV but my camera's not picking it up I think it's sir I think it's like coming from the little peephole Okay, I know that reflection is what I'm seeing. It's picking up the ghost meter at the end of the hallway. Oh. Why don't you want to touch any of the devices I have set up? Usually I go to a location spirits can't wait to make that rim pod go nuts or the k2 meter last night when i was trying to film are you the one that woke casey up got really blurry going over here by the doll who woke Casey up last night preventing me from filming just prior to that thunderstorm rolling in who was that can you knock on that again please for the last couple of days. <clears throat>
Can you come manifest in front of me? Let me see you. Let me catch you on camera. So I've seen you once before. Now you know me nor my family mean you any harm. Plus, that pain has fallen since we've been on camera tonight. Yeah, I heard that. But all the cats are put up. picked it up. Debbie. Who is Debbie? I heard that in the kitchen. I hear you making noise. And thank you. You're actually doing what I asked you to do. But can you come in here and do some of the other stuff that I've asked? Change the color on the puck lights? Touch one of the devices that I have set up? Sound like the K2 just went off. It just went off. Can you lock the K2 up again, please? I'm starting to feel really freaking nauseating. Just yeah, I don't have it. It's like an orange. Do you like that? There it goes. Thank you. Now, since you can manipulate the K2, can you go over there just a few feet away and touch the pod? And Amanda's. Still using the ghost hunter tools and it said grave. Did you follow us from the graveyard? If so, which graveyard did you follow us from?
Let's just keep them quiet. She knows we're filming. Lindsay didn't hear nothing. But her room's so noisy right now, she wouldn't be able to hardly hear anything anyways. down the hallway come to the living room and talk to us right, I'm gonna turn necro on so I can catch with necro Who did we just hear down the hallway? Did you hear that noise? Mm -hmm. Something about the hallway or not. In the kitchen. Yes, walk in here. I just heard you take a step. Don't be scared of us or any of these devices now. They'll know that we mean nothing in here, any harm. And we've done nothing but showing you all respect since, since we've noticed your presence. Can you tell me your name, please? Blake. How many spirits... How many spirits is in this house? something but I couldn't make out what it was. Necrophonic's too loud. I hear whispering in the hall. Something about the hallway tonight. Whoever's in the hallway can you come stand in front of my camera? Come talking to my camera. I'm getting cold chills now. Knocking on the TV. Do you remember my mom being here the other weekend? Who, who grabbed my mom in the bedroom? Why 
Why did you grab my mom? Was you trying to get her attention? Yes, that's my name. I think it did. Do you want us to leave? Hear that? Is there anything evil in this house? No. Why are you here? Who's Mary? What do you want with No sugar. What do you want with Casey? Now you're not supposed to mess with Casey or Lily. They are all flavors. Okay, did you just call? Yes, can you turn one of these lots to a different color? Move something. Are you in the bedroom with Casey right now? Hi. Yeah, you're creeping the man out right now. Yes, I know there's something paranormal here. I'm just trying to figure out why you're here. If it's something that we brought into the house, if it's an attachment, or if you was here before. Look at the ghost. Well, we'd like to look at the ghost, but you're not manifesting for us, so we can't see you. Did I see you earlier in the reflection of my TV? No, we're not going to leave. Not just yet. It's freaking hot in here now.
Is there anything in here, in this house, that means me or my family any harm? No, I'm not going to leave. Can you tell me the name of myself or someone in this house? Amanda. I just try to say Amanda. What about one of my viewers right now that's watching this? They also said Lily. Okay. How long have you been here? Is there anything that you want us to know before I close Necrophonic out? just going nuts. Can you light that up again, please? That actually started me. I forgot that it was even on. Who just touched the rim pod? What about Jason? Is Jason still here with us? Jason, if you're still here with us, buddy, I just want you to know that we still miss you. And there's not a day that goes by that we don't think about you. Something has just severely drained my battery. Really? Yeah. Jack. I just watched it jump from three bars. I just watched the battery jump from three bars to one bar. Can you touch that K2 for Amanda?
that light just looks freaky over there. With the night vision off, mm -hmm. it looks creepy. The other one looks like that. Not as bad. Alright fam, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because it's getting it's getting pretty late. Uh case we built in a couple hours. I wanna thank y'all for you know taking your time out and watching this video with us. I wanna thank you for being here with us on this this little adventure at our house. I wanna thank you for your support. I wanna give a big shout out to my mods. Mods without y'all we couldn't do this. Thank you so much for everything that y'all help us do. We uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell on one of these here corners. That way you know whenever we uh, post a new video. Of course, we post every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Central. 8 p.m. Uh, GMT. But fam, when you're out in the world, show love, not hate. Show compassion for your fellow man. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts or tendencies, we ask from the bottom of our hearts that you please, please find them some help. The suicide hotline has changed its number. It's now a three-digit code. It's 988. If you're a veteran, press 1. Remember, there's nothing in this life worth you taking your life. All problems in life are temporary. But fam, we hope you all have a great week this week. We love each and every one of you all. Until our next adventure, remember, the hunt is just around the corner.